a patient surgery um, by a calendar admin user and we'll start with uh, Amy Barone and we'll log in as Amy with a password of admin into the system and we're going to assume that <coughs> we're just uh, we just need to add a a patient procedure and we'll do it on the 16th of September so we can either pick it out of this column or we can go to the little icon here and click on the 16 we'll assume that it's an afternoon surgery that's going to take place during a block time um, or procedure or surgery <clears throat> it's going to be at the ambulatory surgery center and it's going to go Mr. Rock Stone and the procedure is bladder stone removal with a laser the surgeon for this particular procedure is um, Dr. Kamelski, the staff surgeon, and the assistant is going to be uh, let's put in Jason. <clears throat> and these other labels here can be changed, but um, right now what they're looking at is uh, insurance type of insurance and some pre-certification number that's acquired by phone um, and the person that authorized the pre-certification number. Uh, the film location, uh, usually they're in the OR these days with all the digital and not an AM admit, this is not a repeat procedure. Uh, the notes um, uh, homium laser is needed, uh, <coughs> homium required, and so we can just uh, go ahead. We're not going to send email, but both of those are are confirmed for our purposes and we're just going to go ahead and add the item. So the item is added. We see that it sends out an email with a confirmation number to the owner and we return to the calendar and we'll see on the 16th that this event has been booked. Uh, we click on the date normal 16 and we see the beginnings of a day view <coughs> for this particular day. The first case is uh, Dr. Kamelski's uh, patient, Mr. Stone, and Jason Potit is going to be doing the case. On call for this day um, is as follows. And this is out of order from the call schedule that we received, but we can tweak that order and put it in the way that you'd like it <coughs> once uh, once you decide whether you're going to subscribe. Um, and so that's the process for adding a patient. If you have additional patients that you want to add for that block time, uh, you can click on the 1 p.m. start time and <clears throat> you'll notice that this is set up from 1 to 5. If we have another patient at 3, we can just go ahead and uh, add that patient. Uh, there are only four um, <clears throat> uh, there are only four required entries into the patient information section. All the others are optional. 
and we can change these labels and move things around. So we're going to add this new patient, and so now we have two for that day. When we <coughs> return to the calendar, there's nobody assisting on this. You haven't quite figured out who's going to do it yet, but that patient uh, is still posted as part of the surgery schedule for that day. When we figure it out, who's going to assist, well, then we can go back in to the patient information section and modify this particular patient. And uh, we'll say that it's also going to be Jason. And <clears throat> we have the, we can increase this list, of course, of the insurance to your local insurance companies. And <clears throat> and so forth and apply those uh, uh, these changes to that particular patient and you can see now when we do that that the assistant is listed and so forth so that's about the story on adding a patient